Okay, there's a quick tutorial on how to get Moonlight working on a Raspberry Pi 3B+. Plus. Um, I'm going to use PuTTY and SSH into the Raspberry Pi just because it'll be easier to record, but you can of course just open up the terminal and uh, skip forward in the video. If you're also going to uh, SSH into it, you'll need to find your IP address. So just type in ifconfig, and it is that one right there. Um, so mine is 192.168.50.128 and then you'll have to go to there go to your preferences go to configuration and then um, interfaces enable SSH and hit OK alright and now I'm going to the computer and doing the rest of it on there okay so on the computer um, you'll just type in your your IP address, leave everything else the same, and then the default username is Pi and Raspberry. And the password won't show up as you're typing it. Uh, and now you'll have to add the um, Moonlight uh, depository to the Raspberry Pi. So you'll just copy and paste this from the description. And it is this one right here. Um, depending on what version of Raspbian you're running, you'll have to use either Jesse or whatever the other um, versions are, but Buster is the latest, I believe, and that's the one I'm running. So after you copy and paste that into this uh, file, you'll press Control X, and um, it'll ask if you want to save it. I, uh, I didn't change anything, so it didn't ask me, but uh, you'll hit Y and then Enter to save. And then the next thing you want to do, uh, and then um, then you can install um, Moonlight, and there's also a couple other things that are getting installed. So you'll just copy and paste this into the terminal, and it'll automatically begin installing everything. Um, for me, it won't install anything. It already says that, or it says that Moonlight is already on the latest version, so you won't have to do anything there. The next thing you want to do is go to uh, GeForce Experience, go to your settings, and then make sure that Game Stream is on, and that is under uh, the Shield options. So just make sure that's on. Close that. Uh, run the command Moonlight Pair. Mine's already connected, but well, let me unpair it and then. Okay, so now it's unpaired. Uh, so when you pair it. Oh, okay. Well, I guess it's not going to work. Anyway, it's already connected. A little box will pop up asking you to type in the pin. And it gives you the pin right there. Um, okay, so after you pair successfully, um, you can type in Moonlight Stream and. It'll um it'll start streaming. I'm not gonna do that because it it'll stop the recording. Um, and also, if you just do that, it'll only stream at 720p and 30 frames per second. If you type in this next command, it'll create a file um, with a few options changed. So it'll uh, it'll still stream, but it, this time it'll stream at 1080p and 60 frames per second. There's other stuff you can change too, but I'm not going to mess with it. Um, so there's an option to do 4K streaming and then a custom resolution and bit rate. Uh, 4K doesn't work for me. It just won't stream at all, even though it will connect. So um, I'm not going to change anything else other than that. So after that file is created, you will type in this command and it'll make it executable. Type in this command and it'll make uh, it'll open up the startup applications. And from here you can add a string of text and it'll launch that file we just made at the at startup. So now if I go to the Raspberry Pi and just turn it off and then turn it back on and it should um, start streaming as soon as it's uh, up and running again.
and it will launch into the desktop first just because it takes it a second to um, actually launch Moonlight and you will want to turn off SSH after you're done with this if you used it at all. And there it is. Now it is running. It's running at 1080p, 60 frames per second, and it'll run as soon as the Raspberry Pi starts. Uh, I went through this a little bit quick, but you're just copying and pasting a bunch of commands into the terminal, and that's about it.